Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to see how to create a tool from geometry. First off, I would like to show you a couple of different things. So normally I'm going to import a drawing. So this is what uh, you will get from uh, tool suppliers in general. A drawing that looks like this. In this case, this particular case, the drawing is for uh, an entry door. The external profile of an entry door is probably a European style. You can even start uh, with something like this, but this, of course, uh, is not uh, importable. So you cannot create a tool out of this drawing. It has to be cleaned up a little bit. The first thing you will have to do is uh, delete basically half of it. We just need uh, half of the tool, and in particular the right side, but then we can mirror it. So we can then select everything. I will go here, modifiers, uh, divide on intersections. Then, of course, I will get rid of the first half that I don't need. Then I don't need the tool holder because I can add it uh, using B solid. So I can select those, divide an intersection, and then get rid of the tool holder as well. We don't need measurements, we don't need the piece, and so on. So you keep deleting and modifying uh, the drawing, you know, and, and keep only what you need, which is, so let me get rid of everything because I've done it already, import. This, so I've created the DXF. Of course, it's being cleaned up, and this is all we need. The right half. Once we have something like this, we can go immediately. We don't have to open it and be solid and, and do anything here. We can go immediately in tools. Of course, uh, remember that uh, if you can't create a new tool, it's just because you need to, to set the password. Then create a new tool, assign a name, door, PRF, so profile, link cutter. Next, I'm going to select the general and confirm. At this point, like I was saying, we can add, if we go in morphology, we can add the tool holder, which is this one. And here, as the body type, we can select from geometry and then select the drawing, which is our DXF. And here we have the tool. This is the fastest way to do it, even though I don't like it for a simple reason. As you can see, my tool is all yellow, and yellow usually is the cutting edge, which normally this is only the shank. I mean, is just a non-cutting edge part of the tool. So for collision control, saying that this is a cutting edge probably is not the best. We will have to split this tool at least in two different parts. I mean, you can leave it like that, of course, but you need to pay attention, you know, uh, to 
collisions. Now let's go back. I'm gonna cancel this uh, tool because, uh, of course, uh, using BSolid. Now let's go back into the camp can so we can see. I have created already the two different parts. So the top and the bottom. Of course, if I copy this one, and I paste it here. See, I have again my whole tool. So I just split the the two different parts into different drawings. So no, let's not save. Doing this allows me to. Go back in my tool creation, so door ERF profile, select milling, next general, okay. At this point, like we did before, selecting the tool holder, and then the first body I can select from geometry and of course here you can select uh, you know dwg dxf or eventually b solid files like in this case i have used directly b solid to modify the original geometry so i have the top and in this case the top is a non-cutting edge then i can add a second body always selecting from geometry select the other geometry bottom and here it is back where i was but in this case is proper properly created it's also good for collision controls and everything then you can set up you see now my working length is 80 millimeter which is wrong and also the diameter is 20 which are, these are the two default in B solid, so you can easily adjust working length and working diameter using the buttons. So the, the functions here on the top uh, left corner adapt length from a peak on the drawing. And I'm gonna select this one as my length. Now you see it's 128.99, blah blah blah. Same thing with the diameter. So I select this, adapt diameter from peak on drawing, and I select this point because that is what I want as my working diameter. At this point, I can move on and use speed. Of course, uses. You can enable this most probably only for milling. And then speed. Speed. Uh, normally it's written in the drawing that uh, your tool supplier is going to provide. So uh, you can adjust uh, all the standard maximum and minimum, you know, uh, fits and speeds from uh, there, looking at the drawing. And that's it. You just need to save it. Let me just change it so we can actually see it in action in the simulation uh, rotation so let's just say 1500 7000 max save okay at this point if we want to see create a new program Panel. This tool, if I'm not mistaken, is made to work on the 44, uh, 45 millimeter uh, thick panel. So we can select it. Machining, milling. Correction, external tool. It's our bore 
PRF through zero. So it should be right where I want this tool to be. And we can select, I mean, the lead in, lead out we want, and so on. So, firm play. And as you can see, tool is probably created properly created and is doing what it's supposed to do I hope this video can be helpful. Stay tuned. See you next time.